There are some people who leave their mark on all of us. One such person was Nelson Mandela, a man so powerful that the apartheid government locked him away for 27 years. Out of sight on a prison island, people thought they would never see him again, but they held on to him through banned images like this, despite the risk of being caught by the brutal regime. On his centenary, Phillips and the Nelson Mandela Foundation wanted to revive his legacy. So we gave people a chance to wear his iconic haircut and remember what he stood for. Well, to mark 100 years since struggle icon Nelson Mandela was born, the Shave to Remember campaign was born. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished guests, comrades and friends, the time for the healing of the wounds has come. We know this well, that none of us acting alone can achieve success. After releasing our film, Philip's barbers traveled far and wide. From the streets, to the suburbs, to the most impoverished communities where Mandela's values are needed most. Just by wearing something as simple as his haircut, people showed their commitment to walk in his footsteps. My name is Didi Makobane. My name is Robert Boy. My name is Sengesi. My name is Linda Sifomba. And I shave to remember. And I shave to remember. Philip's shavers were distributed nationwide and proceeds were donated to the foundation to continue his legacy. In the end, one thing was certain. There's a Mandela in all of us. He's a hero and he fought for our country's rights.